Beatrix here. So, the other day, I went live on, well, Instagram Live using OBS and VRChat. And a lot of people that joined the stream said that the video quality and the sound quality was really good. And they also asked me how I did it. So, today, I'm gonna show you how I configured my settings so that you can stream on places like Instagram Live. So yeah. All the links that you're gonna need are gonna be in the description. I'm gonna put everything down there. So yeah, just open that up and check it out. So if you're ready, then let's go. So the first thing you'll need is a laptop or a desktop that can run OBS. Like this one. So once you have OBS installed on your laptop or your desktop, you're gonna want to download the plugin called OBS Multi RTMP. This plugin can be found on GitHub, and I'll put the link in the description. Make sure you download the right plugin version for your version of OBS. I'm using OBS 29.1.1, so I'll be downloading the first one. In the list of files, you're gonna see an EXE version. You're gonna wanna download that one. It's only 745 kilobits, so it's basically microscopic. Once you've downloaded the EXE file, you're going to want to open OBS. When you open OBS, you're going to see that the multiple output is already going to be on OBS. If it's not for you, just go to Tools and click on Multiple Output. Great! So now, you have the ability to stream to multiple platforms. Now, you might be asking, Atrix, why don't you just use Restream? The problem with Restream is that the quality of the streams are often pretty low, as well as it's really difficult to swap between the screen sizes and the screen resolutions because a lot of the things on Restream is fixed. I've tried this out myself, it doesn't work. Let's try implementing the Instagram Live feature now. From here, you're gonna want to download something called Yellow Duck. With Yellow Duck, you're able to get all the details needed to stream from OBS. You can find Yellow Duck in the description as well. Once you have it downloaded, you're gonna want to run Yellow Duck, and then you're gonna want to log in to your Instagram through Yellow Duck. Now, you might get a message on your phone saying that someone's trying to log into your device. Don't worry, that's just you. You're gonna want to hit allow on that one, and then Yellow Duck will log into your account, and then it'll give you a stream key and an address to put into OBS. From here, we're going to utilize the multiple output plugin. First, you've got to make a new target. From there, you can name it whatever you want. For now, we're just gonna name it Instagram. If the settings do not pop up for you, just hit modify. The settings for that option will appear, and you're gonna see two things. The first one is the RTMP link. The second one is the stream key. You're gonna wanna put those in from Yellow Duck respectively. Once you've done that, you just hit save or apply. One more thing, you're gonna wanna change your resolution size because Instagram's a mobile app, so we're gonna make it vertical. Don't worry if the drop-down menu doesn't have the resolution you want. You can just type it in. So instead of having 1920 by 1080, we're gonna swap it around and say 1080 by 1920. Hit apply and your settings should now change. Great! So now hit start on a multiple output plugin and hit start broadcast on Yellow Duck. Once you do that, your Instagram Live will start. Make sure you have a game capture source capturing VR chat. I hope you find this video helpful, and I hope that you have fun streaming on Instagram. And if you like this video, well, you know what? Just just do the thing that all the other YouTubers tell you to do. Yeah, I'm done. Bye.